How's it going guys? In today's video we're going to be going over how we can code only with emojis. And as you can see we're going to be creating this epic application where you can tap on this sun and it turns into a moon. And when you tap on the moon it's going to turn into a sun. But the logic behind it is going to baffle your mind. So first we're going to go ahead and create a class and we're going to be using this freezing emoji for the class name and it's going to conform to the observable object protocol. Then we need to go ahead and create an at published var of champagne bottle and that's going to equal the emoji of sun. Then we want to go ahead and create a function of coding man. So find your coding man and this function is going to change the champagne bottle into a moon if it is a sun and if it's a sun it's going to change into a moon. So if champagne bottle this one over here is equal to moon then we want to go ahead and type in self dot champagne bottle will now equal a sun else we want self dot champagne bottle to equal a moon. So it's a very simple toggle logic that just toggles between a sun and a moon. But now let's go ahead and use this code in the content view. So the very first thing inside here we have to do is instantiate our class. So let's go ahead and type in at state object private var happy face is going to equal frozen face. And we're going to replace this with a button and the button is going to hold happy face dot champagne bottle. And inside here, we can go ahead and use happy face dot code function. And all we have to do now is add a font with a system size of 200. So we can see this sun. But you'll notice that if we go ahead and run this application, we're going to have the same result as from before. We can go ahead and tap on the sun and it will turn into a moon and the moon will turn into a sun. And that was done only using emojis. But anyways, guys, I hope you never have to resort to doing this because it is ridiculous. But it's always good to know that you can use emojis directly in your Swift applications. But with all of that being said, have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video.